Hello, it's uh, Tim Nelson. It's uh, Monday, and it's, uh, let's see here, it's the 4th of uh, October, and it's about a quarter to three, and not quite 60 degrees out. So, just kind of had to get out of the cabin for a little while, get off the property, and been wanting to come up here for a while. This is kind of one of the top of one of the hills around here, so I'll give you a little view. Doing some logging back there. Well, that's pretty much it. I'll step over here. I can kind of give you an idea where my property's at. Get my finger in it here. So, yeah, I'm right about there, roughly. It's kind of hard to tell with this, but uh, anyways. Let's see, I think that's my tree line going right up and down along there. So, anyway, uh, yeah. Let's give you a little better perspective on uh, where I'm living. But yeah, I'm down in that way. They've been <coughs> doing a bit of logging around me and things. So... I'm getting ready. I gotta go to Coeur d'Alene tomorrow and pick up a few things that they don't sell down here and take care of some other stuff. And uh, anyways, I'll be up there for a day or two and then I gotta come home and pretty much stay home. Uh, things are gonna be pretty tight for me this winter, so I gotta kind of watch my spending, watch what I'm doing, but uh, getting some firewood piled up and kitchen's almost done. It still kind of looks like a construction zone inside and I've got that uh, RV they finally came up and uh, got their tires and stuff off of it yesterday and what else uh, you know getting firewood put up got a pile behind the cabin I need to move I uh, need to take my tent down uh, get that ridge pole and uh, move it down so I can put it over the firewood try to keep it dry and I don't know, still got a lot to do. Still haven't painted the cabin, built my porches, a lot of that. So, anyways, on the way down, uh, I'm gonna pull off at a little spot and uh, give you a little better view of, you know, the side of my property and how it fits into the hill over there. So, I'll talk to you in a bit down. I'm just starting to ramble about stuff, so, you know, kinda need to keep this a little short. Probably upload it tomorrow and don't see much else I'm going to add, but, you know, kind of show you some things around the place down there, how it's coming along. So, next stop is uh, down the road and a little closer shot of my property. Okay, well, I'm back. And just show you where I've been. I was uh, up there. And come down the road here. So, anyways, I'm just going to pulled off side here to give you a better idea of my property over there so it is uh, zoom in between these trees here a little bit so right along that edge that's my property kind of up and down that hill where it stops in that corner that's the end of my property so this give you an idea, you know, all the hills and everything I'm up against back there. So, get that little tree out of the way. So, anyways, uh, guess you'd call it uh, my little slice of heaven. I don't know. I like it out here, though. A little rough. Just, uh... Barely going to have enough firewood to get through the winter. I've got a few more trees down I need to cut up yet, and then I'll definitely have enough. But I'll get down there and show you that stuff here in just a bit. Well, back home. So, back here by the back property line. And all of this here is uh, split firewood. I don't know, probably close to a couple cords. 
And I've still got some branches to cut off of those rounds yet before I can split them up. These ones here, uh, you see the damage that the ants do. If I could lift this up a little bit. Okay. Well, yeah, you can see down in there. I mean, you know, I've got other trees I've already showed you that are that way too, but she's being a nut. Anyway, I got a lot to clean up back here. Got some other poles. Uh, still got to pull that thing down yet. Get up there. Get those cleaned up. Get some of them other little trees down for poles. So, here's some of the ones I'll be using. And I got my uh, solar panels up on some temporary racks right now. But uh, they're off the ground and they are catching a little bit more sunlight. Once I get a few of these more trees dropped back here, uh, then I'll get all kinds of sunlight on them. A few more of them got to come down too. But, you know, I got trees all over here. I'd kind of like to sell some of them. I find somebody come out and cut them and, you know, haul them off. So... Getting that cleaned up. Spent a lot of the summer uh, under fire danger, so we couldn't run the saws, you know, except for early morning hours. So I've been hauling lots of brush and trying to get all this cleaned up. Still got, uh, you know, another tree and a half or so up there to buck up yet and get split. And let's go around this way. So some more of my firewood. Got to clean up the rest of that mess yet. Stove will probably wind up sitting there. And kind of front of the cabin. I would like to get it painted. At least the bottom part of it, the plywood. Same with the shed, but not sure if I'm going to have time for it. Still got a lot of other stuff to do. Been trying to do five things at once all summer. So got the RV stuffed with everything out of storage. Might have to drop that awning just a little bit more, give it more angle for the snow. But uh, I'm going to kind of make it into a little spot to sit and get out of the sun and, you know, summertime shady spot. Make a little fire pit down there as soon as I get rid of that tree. And what's left of that wood there is just all ate up by those ants. And that's the one that fell on the trailer, and I wound up uh, having pretty good rain here a couple weeks ago, and one of the uh, branches that fell on the uh, top of the trailer there poked a couple holes in it, so I had a uh, pretty wet mess in there for a few days. I had to clean out the whole corner of that upper shelf and uh, dry everything out and get the heater going and get up and patch the holes. And, I still want to get up there and put another uh, coat of that roof coating on it, though. My van, uh, I don't know what the heck's wrong with it. New engine, distributor, all kinds of stuff. Uh, put the fuel pump in it and got it running. I had it parked over uh, where my Jeep's at and needed it out of the way. And I wanted to pull it up a few feet farther than where it is here, but dang thing wouldn't start and put some uh, starting fluid in it still wouldn't fire so i had to tow it over here and then uh, couldn't quite get it up the hill so i lost traction with the jeep you can see where it's one of the spots where the tires were spinning you can see the dirt on the front of the van here from tossing it around from the wheels but anyway we had to use a come along Neighbor came down, helped me, and uh, kept blocking the wheels every time we'd move it forward a few inches. But I would like to have it a few more feet up if I can get it up here. There's a mess behind my trailer. So, finally got this stuff sorted out. Bigger pieces, and that's all uh, that old siding that came off of whatever house it was on. Some of this stuff I'm going to keep and use for other projects but this here piece is a little busted up but anyway makes good kindling just got to pull the nails out 
this ridge pole and stuff I've got to uh, get it down that's going to be fun got to take the tent down and the trail up that way uh, I've made a little progress on it I'm not going to walk you up there but uh, yeah, I haven't quite made it to the corner yet still got to get the chainsaw up there so I can you know make it with the ATV but right now it's a foot trail haven't uh, done much with anything up that direction yet eventually I'll have to probably next summer maybe I don't know way things go around here you know I've got a ton of stuff to do and I'm not getting much of it done so same thing with that trailer down there I thought those uh, wheels would fit it but they won't so I've got them uh, little tires on that other trailer that uh, I've got a spare so I'm going to uh, see if that little spare will fit on this trailer at least I'll know the bolt pattern as uh, all I'm going to do is get a bunch of that wood off it and uh, make it for hauling water so those little skinny tires will fit it I've got a spare one right now and I'll just pick up another one and put those on and then I can you know haul my water but yeah it's definitely seen better days these tires uh, are in pretty bad shape we tried getting that one off but it's kind of rusted to the rim so anyway that's uh, kind of about it around here I'm a mess been keeping my chain up you know I still got a lot to pick up and things too before uh, winter hits gets all covered with snow so the logs there they're man eating up things I want to uh, buck them up into little pieces and they're gonna go down on the brush pile down there they're not worth uh, trying to split for firewood or anything and been saving some of this lichen use it for fire starters once it dries out oh bird feeder uh, squirrel feeder whatever it's been bringing in a lot of birds lately getting a lot of different kinds coming in now so this is uh, pretty much about it and uh, where I'm at for now so I'm going to uh, head up into Coeur d'Alene tomorrow, get this uh, video posted. If uh, the coyotes come out and start yapping again at night, uh, I'll try to get out and won't see them, but uh, maybe I can record their yapping on this camera. So we'll see what happens. So if you find that at the end of this video, then, you know, you'll know I caught their sound. Otherwise, uh, you know, there'll be nothing there, but uh, thanks for watching.